Hey guys, happy Friday. Today we are going to talk about Moses hearing God's call. Now time passed and Jacob's descendants, the Israelites, grew into a strong and powerful nation. The Egyptians began to be afraid of them. The new king came to the throne and decided to act before it was too late. He had made the Israelites his slaves. Cruel slave drivers forced them to make bricks to build new cities for the king. They were kept hard at work from dawn to dark, but still their numbers grew. So the king gave orders that every Israelite baby boy should be drowned in the river Nile. About this time, an Israelite woman called Joshebeth had a baby. She already had two children, a boy called Aaron and a girl called Miriam. When she saw that the, the new baby was a boy, she ter was terribly afraid. She hid him in the house for three months. But babies won't stay quiet and still for long. What was she to do? Then she had an idea. She made a basket out of reeds and covered it with tar to make it water light. She put the baby inside, then she took the basket and placed it among the tall reeds of the river, at the river's edge. She told Miriam to keep watch. Very soon, the king's daughter came down to the river to bathe, as Josephine knew she would. And when she saw the basket, she sent her service to fetch it. They opened the lid, and there inside was the loveliest baby she had ever seen, and she was crying. The princess knew that this was an Israelite baby, but she had no children, and she decided to bring him up as her own. She would call his, him Moses. She turned, and there, right beside her, was Miriam, offering to fetch a nurse for the baby. And, of course, the nurse Miriam ran to find... And, of course, the nurse Miriam ran to find was the baby's own mother. So Moses grew up in the king's palace, learning all that the Egyptians could teach him. But he never forgot that he was an Israelite, and it made him sad to see how cruel the Egyptian slave drivers were to his people. One day he saw an Egyptian lashing one of the Israelites with a whip. Moses sprang at the man and killed him. Now his own life was in danger, for the king would hear what he had done. So Moses left Egypt and fled to safety of the desert. He was there a long time working as a shepherd in the land of Midian. In Egypt, the troubles of the Israelites grew worse. One day, as Moses was out minding his father-in-law's flocks, he saw a very strange sight. There was a bush which seemed to be on fire, but the fire did not burn it up. Moses went to have a closer look. Stand back, said a voice. And take off your shoes, you are on holy ground. Moses was afraid, was very afraid. The voice came again, I am God, the God your fathers knew and worshipped. I have seen your cruel sufferings of my people, the Israelites. You are to go to the king of Egypt and set my people free. Bring them here to me. But what am I to say? What am I to do? They won't listen to me, said Moses. Please send someone else. No, said God, I have chosen you. Take your brother Aaron with you to do the speaking, and I will give you the words and the power to work wonders. Am I not the living God? Now, let's see. That was it for that lesson, I guess, <laughs> as far as I went with it. Um... But I always did like it when it amazed me how Moses' mother still got to raise him, you know. She got to bring him up because that's who the, uh, that's who Joshebed had sent for was Moses' real mother. She didn't know that, but yeah. Okay, our fun facts. Where in the Bible would you find to eat, drink, and be merry? In Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 15. Then I commended mirth, because a man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry, for that shall abide with him of his labor the days of his life, which God giveth him under the sun. Who was snickered at for claiming a dead girl was, dead, was only asleep? 
Jesus in Matthew chapter 9 verses 23 through 24 and when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the minstrels were a singer and musical performer on instruments and the people making a noise he said unto them give place for the maid is not dead but sleepeth and they laughed him to scorn they laughed at Jesus you know sometimes I tend to forget he was human flesh and blood like you and me he went through people mocking and laughing. He felt anger, pain, hurt. You know, reading that and just listening to that, it just made me feel closer to him. What king of Israel had the shortest reign? Zimri, seven days. First Kings chapter 16, verse 15. In the 20 and 7th year of Asa, king of Judah, did Zimri reign seven days in Phizra? Israel, and the people were encamped against Gibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines. What king of Assyria was murdered at worship by his two sons? Sennacherib. In Second Kings chapter nineteen, verse thirty-seven, and it came to pass as he was worshiping in the house of Nisroch, his god, that that his god, that Adramalek. And Shazir, his son, smote him with the sword. And they escaped into the land of Arme Armenia. And Esar Hadon, his son, reigned in his stead. And our last fun fact for this week. Who told the first lie? The serpent in the Garden of Eden. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. That was our lesson and our fun facts for this week. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you all want more of these videos, just hit subscribe and you'll see them every time I upload them. I upload every Friday. Uh, you all have a good week. I love you and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.